Hello, Steve White, Steve White 39. Well, first off, I'd like to apologize for my low tech um, approach to this video, but I just don't have the time to do a proper video. So I'm just, yeah. Castle Grayskull. Now, Castle Grayskull, this is a Castle Grayskull from the animated series, which is the one I think we're all familiar with. And of course, the original toy, or the box art anyway. Um, yeah, this is the new box art for uh, the new Origins Castle Grayskull. And here's the actual Castle Grayskull from Origins. Now, at first I was kind of impressed. I was happy that they fixed the, um, they mirrored the, the, um, the spire, or whatever it is, at the top, instead of having basically a different back and a different front. Um, and they painted um, the tiles and the um, the door, drawbridge, whatever you want to call it. Um, although it looks a bit less impressive um, here, which is probably what it actually looks like when you take it out of the box. And a little comparison between some of the others, which really doesn't fit the screen. But um, yeah, you can see the, the, the some differences there. Uh, the thing that I noticed the most is the shape of the face is different. Um, because the original, as we saw before, had these big huge teeth that came right down on either side of the door. And they're less prominent on the new one. And it sort of had this big mouth. And um, the new one has real nice high pretty cheekbones. It just doesn't have the same look. Um, neither one look exactly like the filmation version, but um, and the the painted um, detail on the door is interesting, but um, the original door was actually green, and I always thought it was just covered in moss or something. Like it was so ancient, it was just rock covered in moss. That's why it was green. I was never really bothered by the lack of detail, but um, I've always wanted to paint my own up. But I I just sort of was looking at it and I'm like, why did they change the face? I don't get it. Why did they make the shape different. It's got this narrow, skinny look on either side of the door and these little, tight little 90s model cheekbones. I don't know. It's just something, it just doesn't look right. Um, it reminds me more of the, um, the, de the depiction in some of the mini comics. But um, yeah, I'm really not sure how I feel about it. Um, I mean, I kind of know how I feel about it. I'm not really happy about it. But um, like, I, I like some of the newer modifications, like, oh god, that's really small. Um, that's the old version. Um, and it had a sticker for the computer, and a card for the computer, and in this one you actually get moulded plastic um, computer, and you get a sorceress, who kind of reminds me of the sorceress from the movie, who was like white, wearing a white outfit, and had crystal elements in her... Um, headpiece and stuff like that but um I, I do like the inside that's that's what I'm sort of happy about the different colored molding um the floor that actually looks like wood um the brown the wood molded in brown little features little details like that do look better and the fact that they've combined um this up here and it's just two sides of the one um I want to call it a spire but I can't remember what you call it um and the fact that these are all like wood landings and that as well, it is nice. I like the, those elements and I got kind of excited because my Castle Grey Skull that I bought um, had missing pieces and damaged pieces and I bought it, it was supposed to be complete and in good condition and it wasn't and I haven't really replaced or fixed it and I've been debating what to do for years. Do I buy a new one? Do I buy another one? Combine them? Do I um, use one for a uh, um, custom? Do I you know, what do I do? And I thought, well, maybe I can just buy the Origins one and have that. And then I looked at the face of it, and it's not the same face. I expected it to have the same face and just um, some of the extra detail around the outside um, changed, or on the inside, or the colouring of the painting, but not the actual face, the shape. I don't know why they changed it. I have found Origins really kind of confusing, where they kind of, they're trying to maintain the look of the originals but then they change it um 
or they don't change it enough so it doesn't really warrant existing. I've really not happy with them. I got all excited. I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy all six in the first wave. I'm going to just buy each wave as they come out. Yay. And then I look at them like, I don't really want them. <laughs> and then I started looking at the classics. I'm like, they're too tall. Um, I don't like them either. So I just end up buying some of the Super 7 ones. And I just have the originals and the Super 7s and they go together really well. And I don't know if I'm going to buy this, but part of me kind of wants it because I've got the 2002 version and I want the Classics version because I actually like the Classics version most and I meant to include a picture of that in here. But the Classics one, I think, looks more like the original. But then it's got this weird little um, brick um, stand thing here where someone can actually stand. It goes around the edge there. I don't know why that's on there. I don't remember seeing that on the original um, cartoon image. I'm now going to go back at back to yeah there's nothing on the side there for a character to stand on nor on that one nor on that one and here's another thing that's really weird if you look at the picture here this side is the original big fat cheekbones and this side is the I'm going to call the 90s model high cheekbones version it's like they couldn't decide which one they were going to do so they just put both in the painting <laughs> it's really weird oh Crap, I just noticed they've got the, this is actually, this must have started off as the original. They've basically recreated the original like they thought they were probably going to recreate the original. And then they've actually changed this side, because they can't really change that side without altering all that. They've just shaded this in. I reckon this is, they've like repainted this or something. This is really weird. I didn't notice that. And I just realised I do have... The, there it is up the top there, yeah. You've got this little ledge here. I don't know what that's for, but I like the art on the door. And the face, it's sort of the same shape face, but a little bit more um, nasty skull looking. This one looks a little um, chubby bunny in the face. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, I think the classics is the best one, but I can't get past this. I'm like... I just feel like someone could use that to like climb in. <laughs> it's like a lack of security. And I do have the 2002 one, which is kind of interesting because um, from the inside, it's more of a complete. That's what I wanted. I wanted a third wall. So basically, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. There's, there's reasons to, there's reasons not. I don't know. I was expecting this big sort of end of it all, just solution, like the perfect castle grey skull to just buy but um yeah i'm still undecided feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think what your opinion is are you gonna get it bye